uh, first of all, tell me how you assess your start to the season with the Chiefs, if you will. Um, I think it's been a good start. I think uh, it's been positive. For me, personally, it's great to be back playing and, mm. and playing a few weeks now, which is good. So, yeah, it's been good. I think a few games we've been off, off the pace a little bit. Uh, we'll be critical of ourselves, but uh, the results speak for themselves. How tough was it to have to watch from the sidelines, particularly when you were injured? Yeah, it's really tough. Um, every player goes through it, you know, lengthy injuries. It's just part of the game now. and. You, you, you know, you take a lot of learns from it as well. Um, it's frustrating time, but I'm, I'm really pleased to be back. It's exciting times, isn't it? Especially when you look at the results that have happened so far. Yeah, definitely. I think um, we've had some good results and we've had some results where probably could have put a few more tries, uh, you know, on the opposition. But um, yeah, we, we won't take anything for granted in this league. It's a really tough league and we've got a, we've got a huge test uh, on Friday. Indeed. Obviously, you know the rec relatively well. What's it like going back there as an opposition player? Have you been back there as an opposition player before? I have, yeah, yeah, yeah a couple of times. Um, it's a special place to play and I think Friday night will be even more special. It's, you know, the, the, the ground is in the, in the centre of the... Um, the city, sound, yeah. in the centre of the city and uh, yeah it's special you see everyone congregating uh, on Friday nights it's, uh, it's a good atmosphere it is and uh, you know and, uh, and do you get a little bit more jip when you come out there having been an ex-Bath player uh, I haven't <laughs> done I haven't done so far um, no I think um, I've had some fond mer memories yeah. there that's where I started my career and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back there indeed and what should the Chiefs and most of the Chiefs have played there before obviously, but you know what, what do you need to look out for most when you're playing away at Bath especially in an evening game um, I think you know they, they've got individual brilliance. I think um, you know so we've got to be wary of that. But um, I think this week we, we sort of focused on ourselves a bit more. Um, and I think if we if we play you know to our strengths, I think it'll be a, you know it'll be a tough game. Rob was you know wasn't wasn't hiding behind what he felt, especially, especially about that second half performance against Worcester. Yeah. What have you guys done, or what have you guys focused on since the end of the Worcester game? before this Bath match to ensure that that kind of doesn't happen again? Um, I think you know we, we are hard on ourselves and I think the coaches are driving the standards all the time, which is good. We, we've, we've got to, as a, as a squad, got to drive them equally as the coaches. And I felt that, I think particularly in these last couple of weeks, it probably hasn't been the case. I think, um, you know, he's come at the leaders in the, in the team, especially, you know, to, to try and drive things. And uh, this week's been really good, actually, the training. What do you expect from Bath when you come up against them? What have you looked at tactically? Where do you think they're going to be really strong? Oh, they'll, they'll always be tough up front. Uh, they've got a good set piece, um, have a few heavy guys in the forwards, um, and they'll be tough at home as well. They they pride themselves at home, so to, you know to go there on a Friday night, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough ask. What would it mean to the club to end this first block of Premiership fixtures with a perfect winning record? Oh, I mean everything. I think if you look back on e even the, you know the seasons. You know, we were successful. I think we've, you know, we've lost a few of the, mm. of the, the games, you know, three or four games of the season. So um, it'll mean everything. I think you know, we're, we're, we're picking up. The good thing is we're picking up maximum points, and we're, we're saying that we're not playing you know, to the best of our ability, which is a great place to be. Indeed, that's all I need. I think. Ollie, is that a sign of the, the, the maturity of this squad now that you're not happy with five point wins like you're producing? Well, in the past, you would have been happy to take them, but yeah, definitely. I think. You know, looking back on video footage as well, we're missing opportunities, and and that's a good thing. You know, we're getting the maximum points, but we're leaving two or three tries out there. And obviously, it leads now nicely. I know you won't look any further than Friday, but like Brent said, you want to go into the Champions Cup, and that's a big target for you boys this year, isn't it? Yeah, these next three games are huge for the club. I think, um, yeah, we're not looking we're not looking at that at the moment. Friday night's going to be a big test for us, but. Yeah, these um, these next three weeks in particular are going to be huge. And we've seen from the Premiership already; it seems the toughest division yet. You know, there's so, no easy games. No, no easy games. I think as a club, you know, we we've we've gone well in, in the Premiership. I think to, to go well in Europe would be uh, would be the ice on the cake. That's, yep. that's the pinnacle. And you seem to be a prize scout. Using the, sorry for the pun, but you are now. You know, the Chiefs have been around that top four, top two for a number of years now. Teams want to beat you, don't they? Yeah, they do. I think. We haven't gone so well in Europe though, and I think um, that's sort of been our Achilles heel the last couple of seasons. I think we've been good enough. We just haven't, you know, we haven't gotten the results. So, yeah, we've got to, you know, win our home games, especially in Europe, and um, yeah, we'll hopefully, hopefully make the cut. And what lessons did you learn from last year? Because you had good start, didn't you? You beat, you beat Montpellier, you beat Glasgow here. Yeah, I just we're not taking anything for granted. I think every game's a huge game, and. Um, yeah, you know these next three weeks in particular, you know we're, we're building nicely. We're leaving, we're leaving tries out there, but it's a good place to be, and we're, we're in a good place.
Tschüss. Tschüss. Tschüss.